Anne Bellick, President and CEO of Volvo Cars North America. What one, you get to name one, whether it's flex fuel, hybrid, diesel, or fuel cell, where are you putting most of your resources on an alternative platform? Um, or plug-in hybrid, I guess. Yeah, I, I mean, I think there's, <laughs> it's never quite just one straight answer. Right. I think the short-term answer for us is diesel. Um, but here at the auto show, we have a concept vehicle that we've been working on for some time uh, called the Recharge, where we are focusing on hybrid technology uh, with sort of a break, breakthrough twist where we have um, motors at each wheel, which helps with saving weight, uh, which helps with uh, reducing the size of the batteries, and which makes use of the energy created by braking uh, of the vehicle. And this idea, uh, which basically says that the, the car itself can generate energy, and uh, working with the, um, the, the energy companies around the country, we can find a way to even rechannel some of that uh, electricity back to the grid, we have a two-way win uh, down the road. So whether it's, um, you know, it, it's not a short-term solution, obviously, uh, and there's going to be a lot of work that happens on, on both sides of the equation, but it's something that to me is very, very interesting. Uh, you say you're, you're actually spending the most time and money on diesel. Uh, when will you have diesel in, uh, in the United States, in all 50 states? We haven't announced yet when diesels will arrive in the state. Um, obviously, we also have to look at the development of that segment. We're, we're a very small player in, in the U.S. Um, and so I, I think the consumer demand still needs to be developed for, for diesel engines. You've got now, what percentage of your cars are recyclable? 85% of our cars today are recyclable because environmental values have been part of our brand for, for you know since our inception. So we've been looking at uh, a lot of these uh, aspects uh, in our company for a long time. Our goal is to get to 95% and ultimately 100%. Is it? Uh, Volvo has been looking at green for quite a long time. You're very, you're very forward thinking in in Sweden for green. How, how do you see this playing out in America? Uh, but we have to challenge ourselves to, to think forward um, because these challenges are going to keep coming as we go. Uh, as we apply these technologies, and whether it's bits and pieces of it, uh, whether it's shared within our entire family of brands and, and so on, it's important that we continue to look at it and challenge ourselves to find the next solution. You are in Land Rover have been sold off from Ford. They have decided to keep you wisely. Hold on, wisely. It is well as you. <laughs> uh, how's that playing out? The decision was made in the third quarter of last year. We were very happy uh, to, to hear that. One, it brings more clarity about our future. It helps everybody focus on you know on Volvo and what Volvo does within the Ford Motor Company umbrella. Um, so I, I think it's been a good thing. Over the years, uh, we have been able to really benefit from a lot of synergies working with Ford and, and uh, having the scale of Ford Motor Company. And then working with us. you. I mean, Volvo yes, brought a lot to the table. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, uh, we've talked about environmental technology, safety technology, and that sort of thing. Uh, and it allows us still the ability to continue to explore uh, new solutions and new technologies in those areas that support our core values, but have the uh, the support of Ford Motor Company and the scale of Ford Motor Company behind it to execute. And really, thank you very much. Thank you.